Hi, and welcome to another episode of Reese Reviews. And today I'm going to review American Ultra. Ultra amazing. Today I just got back from watching the screener of American Ultra, which stars Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, Connie Brighton, and Topher Grace. Ooh, with John Leguizamo. Briefly. Okay. So, I know from the the trailer that it's, it's about like a stoner kind of comedy, stoner action comedy, which is kind of weird, but it, um, it works. Actually, it's directed by Nima News... Nima Nurzida. I'm sorry, I'm butchering her name, or... Is it a her? It's not a her, it's a him. Sorry, I'm butchering his name. He's also done movies such as Project X. Sorry, Mr. Nemo. Butchered your name totally. Anyway, so yeah, I'm totally not organized and I just got home. I'm tired. Um, American Ultra is written by Max Landis, which was also, who also written, has written the new Victor Frankenstein movie with Daniel Radcliffe and James McAvoy that is soon to hit theaters. I guess he's also done Chronicle and a variety of short films. So I, I think the writing was great. Um, it was very funny. Like you see the trailer and you know it's gonna have a few laughs in it, but it, it definitely surpasses any expectation I have for this film. And I know that's something I say a lot, but when you go into a movie, you kind of think of it. One, this movie is not like an intellectual film. It's a stoner comedy action. It's a stoner action comedy. It's just good fun. And if you can leave your if I don't know if you're expecting like Shakespeare you're not gonna get it but you end up really enjoying the characters even Kristen Stewart Kristen Stewart which I know a lot of people hate on I have hated on Kristen Stewart I've hated on Jesse Eisenberg um, if you watched my last review I didn't hate on him but he you know I just called it like I see it he does kind of the same thing in all these movies but I digress I take that back from Jesse Eisenberg because he really suits the character of Mike Howell and he's actually really good at it and he makes it look effortless and the comedy his comedic timing is great and you think you kind of forget that you know since he was like Academy Award nominated and he has been nominated for all these awards for movies such as like The Social Network which is a serious film but he's done such other films like Zombieland and uh, 30 Minutes or Less, like goofy comedy films. Um, and American at Ultra is in that same vein of, I don't know, things that he does well, I guess. Three things that I liked about American Ultra. One, Kristen Stewart, surprisingly. She, you know, I've been a... In the past, I have not been that easy on Miss Stewart, but I think in this movie she shows that she can, you know, emote. Which is like a weird thing. It's like if you're not into a movie that you're doing, then why do it? Like, I don't understand. But I digress. And the second thing was that I really enjoyed about this movie was the comedy. The laughs were plentiful in American Ultra, and it wasn't even kind of like this niche humor. Anybody could get it. As long as, you know, you don't take yourself too seriously. Number three, what I liked about American Ultra is the action scenes. I'm like a gore girl. I love great effects and the, the makeup effects and the special effects were, were really good. You know, it didn't look cheesy. I love the makeup as, you know, as Kristen and Jesse got beat up along the way. It really reflected in the makeup that was done on their face and their body and I and the makeup was great for me so I enjoyed looking at it because I'm a big nerd for things like that other people might not care but work for me okay three things I hated one it it did kind of like 
There was a lot of plot holes, I feel like. And it's not, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but I feel like there's like a little bit of, really? Is that, is that the story you're going with? But, you know, whatever. Two, why you gotta do John Leguizamo like that? <laughs> like, I love John Leguizamo, and I feel like he wasn't util utilized as much as he could have been in this role, and I feel like the character maybe wasn't for him. He's such a great comedic talent, but I don't think he was used well in the role that he was. The third thing, I would have to say that one, Tony Hale's character, Tony Hale, you might know from his role on Veep and his role on Arrested Development, is one of the things that I didn't like. And I'll tell you why. It's like the same exact role that he's playing on Veep on the big screen. And that kind of like the same exact character. And I know he does this kind of like awkward you know awkward neurotic I know there's a lot of tons of actors that kind of that's their standby maybe it's just they're playing themselves I have no idea but just over it do something with your life American Ultra go see it with your friends it's really funny really gory um, not something for the little ones obviously because it's rated R for strong bloody violence language throughout drug use and some sexual concepts a little light on the sexual contact, but it's there. American Ultra hits theaters August 21st. Thank you for watching Reese Reviews. Also, when I went to the screener, they gave us at like, I guess a kind of a promotional tool, was this little box, well not this little, this little thing of cup of noodles. Because it ties into a scene in the, in the film. And it has a little sticker, so you can, you know, do the hat to promote the film. You know, hashtag American Ultra, hashtag Ultra Noodles ATL, because I was in Atlanta when I saw this movie. Anyway, I just thought it's cute. I love little promotional tools like this, especially ones that you can eat when you're starving, even though it's horrible for you. Alright, thanks again, guys.